Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Netherlands. Alright, so last episode the war started and uh, we are involved in it. However, uh, the Germans have not attacked us and that's probably because of their eastern front where they are currently losing territory to the Soviets. And, you know, this is really, really early for the Germans to be at war with the Soviets. Uh, somebody had said that they're really stupid for declaring war on them, but remember, they did not declare war on them, guys. Uh, what happened was uh, the Nationalists uh, joined the Axis, and uh, because, I mean, that, sh that shouldn't have happened, frankly, uh, because the war's still going on here. So they joined the Axis, that resulted in the Republicans joining the Comintern, and then the, the uh, Spanish were brought in the Soviet Union. So that's what ended up happening. The AI can't really... I can't really consider that logic, you know, the fact that, you know, bringing nationalist Spain in would result in them being at war with the Soviet Union, the AI doesn't know that. So, this is really not the case of Germany declaring too many wars that they can't handle, but I think this might end up being, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but I don't know, guys, I don't really think that Germany's in a position that they can defend two fronts uh, this early in the game, November 1939, no, I don't know, guys, we might launch an offensive, but what we're going to do... And I've told you guys, uh, several of you guys in the comments this uh, already, because this is what I think is the best way to do this. We'll continue to build up. A lot of our stuff is damaged here. Uh, a lot of our troops still don't have uh, artillery guns yet. Uh, so we're going to wait before we launch an offensive. It's not like they don't have any troops on the border. They do have, you know, three, two to three divisions in every province. Uh, and, and I don't want to give up our entrenchment bonus. And I don't really know, you know, how well if the Germans will be able to, like, move troops over here and stop the Soviets. We'll see how it goes. Uh, more than likely, though, we're going to wait to launch our offensive, not give up our, our entrenchment bonuses. Just in case the Germans pump a bunch of divisions over to this front. Uh, kind of get the artillery situation dealt with. And most importantly, get the forts built up along this line. So that if uh, our offensive fails, uh, then we will have a very strong defensive position to fall back on with uh, hopefully level five forts across the whole line, or at least across here. Uh, so that's the plan, guys. So let's go and get started. Let's let this roll. We'll see if the Germans decide to attack us or not. Uh, but again, I don't think they'll launch an offensive uh, because of the situation on the Eastern Front. And we'll keep our eyes on that. And if the Soviets enter into Poland, uh, especially like, you know, central Poland here, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. It does look like they continue to advance. Uh, then, yeah, if they enter Poland, then I don't see any reason why we wouldn't want to launch an offensive, get that war score up, because in that case, it would seem like the Germans are uh, going to lose. Uh, so, which would be uh, interesting, quite the opposite from the last campaign, where uh, it was pretty much just us against the Germans for the most, the most of that campaign. Uh, you know, just the Dutch against the Germans, and the British, and the Japanese, and the Spanish. And uh, National Spain has already capitulated. Excellent news. Uh, with the help, they've got that knocked out. Uh, so, yeah, if that just would have ended up sooner, ended sooner, this would be a whole different situation because uh, the Germans would not be at, would not be at war with the Soviets, which means they would have all their divisions along this front here, and it'd be uh, just very, very different. Uh, so, yeah, you can see they still do have divisions here, uh, four divisions there. So, yeah, it's not a, not like they're not defending their their borders. Uh, and I completely forgot to do this. We want to stop uh, trading for so much steel not necessary and uh, that will give us two more factories for trying to get these these fortifications built uh, we did get the anti-tank upgrades awesome uh, and I, I don't think there's any other 1939 techs that we want to get uh, right now I mean there's there's stuff we could work towards uh, none of these are imperative uh, at the moment I think we're just gonna go for the the 1940 techs now yeah, I think that'd be for the best again I'm not really uh, I'm not too inclined to get naval techs right now. I just don't think it's necessary. Because, uh, I mean, there's Japan. Uh, but with the help of the British and the French and the Americans, I just don't think we'll need to uh, help out much in there. Uh, uh, in that front, I mean, the naval front. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go for 1940 techs. Uh, seeing what we all had, we already got this going. So we don't need to worry about that. So I think that means we're going to want to go for the infantry and artillery techs. Now, since we're short on guns right now let's just go for the improved uh infantry equipment too i hate that we're having to do everything uh ahead of time and getting that penalty but of course there is the benefit that we have a tech that most others do not and yeah we might be able to win on an offensive here guys well actually i feel uh pretty positive we would win an offensive i could be wrong of course uh but the main problem of course is not whether or not we can win the offensive uh it's what would happen if they uh had a bunch of spare divisions you know, over here that they pumped over to here once we started attacking and then they pushed us back and we lost that entrenchment bonus, which is key for uh, 
defeating the Germans on the defense. Uh, so yeah, that was all, all that we had there. We don't want to enact any of those. Uh, just the industrial concern here. I'm almost regretting not getting that, but now I'm like, I feel like I'm I'm tied into it. Like I have no choice. I have to go this route now. We have to go the industrial concern. But yeah, I think I, I probably should have went with the electronics one. Not because I, don't, I feel like I made the wrong decision there, but because of the fact that it has taken us so long to get that national focus uh, that unlocks it, which is over here. I didn't expect it to take this long. There's just so many good focuses in the Dutch tree. So we have these three trained up here, and that reminds me, I did name, and I guess we can deploy several of these. What are they waiting on? The artillery. And uh, this is actually causing further and further shortages with our artillery. Um, what I might do is mark these guys as reserves. Although, a lot of our divisions, you know what, this is what we'll do. We'll change this up. We'll mark these guys as uh, elite so that they get the equipment first. Uh, but uh, what I wanted to mention here is that we did name uh, these units, uh, the Green Boys. This was a suggestion in the comments, and that was based on like Major Payne. Uh, the Green Boys was the name of the unit that Major Payne took over at the, uh, that academy. And uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with the Netherlands, uh, but it was the only suggestion. So I named this unit it because that's the main one we're using. You know, we have 53 divisions with that design while we only have eight of this one. So we still do need a, a name for this one though. And that's our, our home division. Uh, I'm not gonna build any of them because the manpower that we have, that's like essentially what we'd need to just make replacements on an offensive. Uh, so yeah, I don't think we should build any, any divisions our own. And it's not like we have problems uh, with divisions at this moment, we really don't. Uh, so let's go and put these guys over here, and then we'll get them moving around and see where the best place to move these guys would be. I also changed up their icon too, just to make it easier for me to see which ones these are. Uh, so I think we have every port defended but the two British ones, so let's go ahead and take care of that. So we're going to move one of these guys over here, and I guess we'll just take one of them and move him here. And we have some extra ones here as well, and let's move him to Singapore. Again, just kind of prepping up for the war with Jap the Japanese because we know they're going to eventually attack the Allies. Uh, but yeah, so far uh, they are moving much slower on, on in that regard than the Germans did. I'm a little bit surprised with that. And we got another division from these guys, so let's go and get that training up. And this guy's done as well. Uh, so let's go and throw him over into this army, and then we're going to move him to that port right there. Just trying to get all the ports defended, uh, particularly the ones that the, the Japanese... Uh, typically attack early on. Yeah, they keep on advancing, guys. I don't think that the Germans are going to be able to stop them. I think the Germans might be done for, guys. <laughs> uh, they, they just are not in a situation in 1939, uh, and that makes sense, too, historically. Uh, they're just not in a, a situation in 1939 to fight a two-front war, uh, and especially not to be fighting against, you know, the British, the French, and the uh, Soviets all at the same time. So more than likely, guys, we're going to be launching that invasion soon. Uh, we got one more fort to build. That puts us at level four. Uh, and I was trying to get to level five. So what we'll do is let's start up, start here, and just kind of build along here. And then we'll build another one after that one finishes. And maybe we'll get that one leveled up uh, soon as well. But again, I'm not really super worried about it. Uh, more than likely, yeah, we're going to be launching this attack fairly soon. And in fact, because we are going to be attacking, we now want to get just a little front here. Uh, so that they can start getting a planning bonus because they don't have one yet. And I'm going to manually control this. Uh, this is like the only front we're uh, really messing with. Oh, damn. I think that was our construction bonus. Or maybe not. I don't know exactly what that one was. I think it was a, maybe a bonus for military factories? Perhaps. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, we still have the land fort construction speed. So we have that benefit. So we're still building the forts with a 10% bonus. All right. So I'm going to actually turn this up to speed 5 since, you know, we're not doing anything. Uh, and I just want to get those forts constructed and also just trying to get the uh, artillery situation uh, dealt with. Just take a look at our infantry equipment. We actually are using a lot of it. Okay, uh, and I don't think there's anything we can pull from. No, not really. Really, we need more military factories. Uh, or just getting stuff from Lundlease, like from Mexico and whoever wants to give it to us. Uh, so what is this decision available? Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't care about any of that right now. Let's go ahead and just indicate we don't want to be notified of it. All right, uh, so yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, it would definitely this episode we're gonna launch an offensive. And <laughs> they attacked Norway. <laughs> They're giving themselves more fronts to have to worry about. Uh, see, now this here is uh, Germany doing their typical stupidness here, uh, where they pull more and more. Basically, if they have a, a war goal, then they typically use it. 
And so, yeah, you're going to see them attacking uh, Denmark now. And, uh, yeah, just another front they got to worry about. And, in fact, they are losing. They're attacking across the river here. Super stupid. So just throwing away uh, manpower they don't really have to throw away. Uh, and let me just take a look and see if they pulled any divisions off our front. They did not. Okay. Uh, and I am a little bit worried about the uh, situation with the lack of artillery. So hopefully this Lund Lease will kind of fix that. Because, uh, yeah, we are super short on the, the guns right now. Again, I could take from the, the infantry, but we only have three, uh, three factories going towards that right now. All right, so we could go ahead and, and start moving down one of these branches. And since we're going to go on the offensive, I guess it would make sense to go ahead and start doing so now. And I think infiltration will probably be the best one to get, just because, you know, we don't have... You know, we don't have any mechanized troops, so that one's useless. Max Pauline's helpful for anybody, of course. Uh, and there's more organization, which is great. Breakthrough is always awesome. More max planning. And then, uh, yeah, good bonuses there. Uh, but yeah, this one, you get the breakthrough sooner. Uh, with that organization sooner. Uh, same deal here, though this one only affects tanks, so that's about, you know, it might be as far as we go for right now. Uh, supply consumption's great. And that's going to help in Asia. Uh, and yeah, those, these are all... All decent as well. So yeah, I think we're gonna go for this one, and let's go ahead and use that 100% uh, research bonus. Since we are about to launch the offensive, of course that won't uh, take effect before we launch it. Maybe we should wait until after the winter so we don't take as many casualties, because remember we do have that that winter penalty, although I'm not really seeing it just yet. It looks like, uh, even though there is some snow on the ground, it's not causing any problems as of right now. No. Yeah, no uh, winter penalty yet. All right, so let's go ahead and get a new national focus picked. And I think, I, you know, I was going to go ahead and go after this one, guys. You know what? I really want to get this um, before the war with, with Japan starts. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab it up. Uh, again, it, it does unlock these decisions, which are really, really helpful. So that's another reason to, to go for that. Uh, so we have a bunch of, of factories now that we just got from that. Uh, national focus. I completely forgot that that one gave us a uh, factory. So that's going to help in building ourselves these uh, the artillery up. Uh, in fact, we're going to put all the factories into artillery uh, just because that's how short we are in it. Uh, so let's go and trade for the steel and the tungsten that we're going to need to supply those. And in fact, we might not be getting, yeah, we're not getting a uh, full thing there. Uh, so let's go and trade with somebody else instead. Uh, let's go with, I'm trying to think who will need it. Could help the Soviets out. Looks like they're doing just fine on their own, though, and they're not in our faction, so probably shouldn't. Uh, I guess we can help the British out. Okay, we won't trade for that rubber either. All right, guys, so yeah, I, I think, uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and change up, uh, once we get the 150 here, we'll go ahead and change up the law, and then I think we're just going to launch an offensive, man. Just see what happens. Uh, see if we can get it done or not. Um... Yeah, because it does look like the Soviets are still pushing forward. They're, they're not that far from Warsaw now. Uh, so, yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason not to launch an offensive, uh, with the exception of our limited manpower problem. So if we were to change up to extensive conscription, then that would fix that issue. So let's go and do Is that the one we want to change to? Yeah, yeah, let's change up to extensive. Let's go and change up to extensive conscription. That would get us a lot more manpower to replace all these casualties. And then we're just going to test this out, guys. Uh, let's kind of test a, an offensive out and see how it goes. Uh, and then what we're also going to do is we're going to send some more troops over to this front, uh, just in case we need them. I just want to get them start coming over here. And then uh, the rest of these guys will will defend uh, against the Japanese, since that looks like that's where the main war is going to be now, uh, against Japan. Uh, so we can send, like, one division over to that port just to protect it. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And, in fact, we are going to now be overstaffed here. Uh, so we are going to need more... Uh, another another general but we're gonna wait until we're actually at war because i don't feel like messing with that right now so we're just gonna put them all over staff them you know it doesn't matter because they're not actually fighting all right so we have one more port that needs to be protected here and then uh let's go ahead and get these guys going i suppose we can send another one over to here four there two there uh two there i guess we can send one more over to here I guess he could have went by land. That would have been fine, but it doesn't matter. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and, and launch an offensive. Um, we need to get a commander. That's the other thing we need to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... Oh, we're short on political power. Okay, so that's what we're going to wait on then. Uh, so when we get that, then we'll just, we'll just test it out. Send some troops and see how things go. See if we can launch an offensive. Because normally I want to be kind of uh, weary about doing this. Um, especially, you see, the Germans are about to defeat the Danes, but... Man, it doesn't look like they're going to stop the Soviets. I, I don't think they're going to. The Soviets are just doing really good. I'm actually a little bit surprised. Uh, I did not expect them to push forward uh, that rapidly. 
Uh, so let's get the new guy assigned here. And I think let's try this out. Let's try and attack out and see how it goes. Uh, so we'll just go and attack with, we're not going to send all the troops because we want to keep entrenchment bonuses. In fact, let's do this uh, uniform way. So we'll like keep the, the two up at the top here. And we'll just send three in and see if they can win. All right, it's yellow. We're getting some assistance there. So yeah, we'll keep that going. Uh, no reason to attack cross rivers here. Uh, and then let's go and attack the weak points here. Although there isn't really any, uh, but there are some marshes here, uh, which have some penalties. I saw, uh, where were the marshes? I think it was up here actually. Yeah, this is the, this one right here. Good God. Uh, there's the marsh one. Uh, so yeah, division attack isn't great. So we'll attack over this way instead. Uh, in fact, we could actually focus our fire here. So let's try this out. Let's see how it goes. Again, not send too many divisions, not get crazy with it, and, uh, you know, potentially give up all our entrenchment. Alright, so yeah, you can see that we're still not having great odds. Maybe if we, like, did a little bit of support in here and sent one more in. Yeah, that's green, although, yeah, you can see that we're not, not able to win there. Alright, interesting. Okay, so I wasn't, uh, expecting that. Maybe we'll try here, but, yeah, they got tanks there. Alright, so yeah, that is, uh... It was interesting. We, we are not able to get the, the wins here. If we sent one more division in here. I know we're losing entrenchment here, but pull him back. Just keep that guy in. All right, so yeah, we can actually win along this front. Maybe if we sent everything, you know what I mean? Uh, and uh, just said, fuck it. And not really gave a shit about entrenchment. Then maybe we could get the win. Uh, what we'll do is we'll try and attack here next. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we will be able to win, guys. Uh, our attack is probably garbage because of the lack of artillery since we're still short on the guns really really short on the guns So we did get the fighters here and uh, could go in and work on the 1940 uh, planes uh, But we're not gonna build any planes until I get the artillery situation uh, Shortage dealt with and then we'll build planes. So uh, in that case it does mean that I Don't know what we're gonna get. Uh, I guess we get this one support weapons. That'd be helpful. All right, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that it went as bad as it did. I didn't expect to win it, but expected to go a little bit better than that. Uh, did, did we get these guys designed out? We still need to get them some more support companies. Uh, I would like to get them recon companies uh, for the speed. Uh, let's see if these guys are finished up, though, before we, we do that. Um, yeah, they're, they're looking, for the most part, done. I think this is how it's going to look. We're not going to add them, anything else to them, uh, with the exception of a few things here to kind of help them out. Uh, so like some field artillery there, and that's all the experience we have. So, or not field artillery, I meant field hospitals, excuse me. All right, so we'll get that out to him. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is going a lot different than I was expecting it to go, guys. This is not the way I had uh, figured it would end up going. Uh, the Germans have been successful against the Danes, though, so there's that. Uh, I didn't know if they were going to win or not, man, because I didn't know if they had enough divisions. That's going to free up a lot of divisions. I'd love to get this offensive, you know, at least be able to take something for them. But, yeah, I don't think we can win, guys. Uh, a big part of it is uh, the lack of... Maybe if we sent one of our own divisions in. So we sent, like, them in with, like... Uh, and, oh damn. Yeah, that changed up all their experience, so we might need to retrain these guys. Yeah, we just can't uh, can't win. I mean, I can send all of them in, but I don't think that would result in a, a win either, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I'll try one more one more shot here, guys. And we're just going to take um, three of these and send them in. And same thing here, like three. Again, not all of them are actually fighting. That one is green, but you can see it's sticking down, so I don't think it's going gonna, it's gonna to work either. Nope. All right. So, yeah, we can't beat them on the offensive. All right, good to know. Good to know. We tried. Uh, so I don't think we should go anymore. And in fact, I would love to, to start rotating them out to like train them uh, to make sure that they get those uh, bonuses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate, start slowly rotating divisions out, uh, put them into like a little training army, uh, bring them over here, or we'll just kind of set up. Let me just grab like one division here uh, and just kind of set up a little training army so we keep that, uh, that bonus and plus it gets us the army experience, which I didn't think would be a problem. Um, but yeah, if we're not, um, not fighting then obviously it is a problem and we'll just have them garrison there it doesn't really matter where and this will be a little training army here and we'll just kind of uh rotate divisions in uh, so just like take one from each each province here and uh rotate them in there and i did not set them to train so it's going to get those guys in there and yeah just again one from each province here since we made that adjustment to them, and that did tick down their experience, and the other benefit is, of course, that we get uh, 
some extra army experience for making adjustments to the divisions. All right, fantastic. You know what? We're going to take one of these guys and put him in there as well. So they'll move over there. Be one less division per province. I feel like we'll still be have a good, strong defense here. Uh, let's take a look at our fortifications. Yeah, I have not. Uh, we, were, we were repairing. We shouldn't have been doing that. My bad. Uh, so yeah, get these built. And you know what? We can also go ahead and build in those provinces that I was waiting in building. Waiting on building in. All right. All right, so yeah, these guys will go over here and train up. Just keep, uh, looks like about seven divisions or whatever. We'll keep training at a time. Shouldn't take them very long to train for the most part, with the exception of the ones that took kind of higher casualties or whatever. Uh, and we got to keep our eye on these guys as well. And yeah, that kind of sucks that we weren't able to launch the offensive. Uh, part of that is probably lack of control of the skies. Yeah, they do control the skies here. Uh, so there's that. Although I'm kind of surprised they, oh, we control the skies. Psh, it's green. I'm an idiot. So we were getting the, uh, the bonus there, uh, for, you know, air superiority. So there's that, uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like we had any, uh, we didn't have a close air support helpings out. Or maybe we did, uh, at the time of the attack. Uh, you know, that those bombers were just added, but we don't know how many were there at the time. And the Hungarians just joined the Axis, so they de they desperately needed that. Uh, the French haven't been on advance either, there's those forts along here that are stopping them. So yeah, we're just kind of in a stalemate in the west while the Soviets push forward in the east. Uh, I, I think that the Germans really need to pull some of these divisions off of this front, uh, but they're they're keeping them here because of the numbers. That's the reason why they got them there. Uh, so let's go and take one of these guys and put him here. Uh, but yeah, the numbers that we have on the front, uh, it's got Germany concerned. They feel like they have to... Let's take one of these guys put them over here. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll take all the ones that are coming here and put them into the, the training army here. All right, and just go ahead and uh, take a division from here, I guess. Get them training up. Okay, so yeah, because we have so many divisions along the front, Germany feels like they have to keep them there. And you know what? I don't know, guys. I think this might be one of those situations where we 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 think that we're it's going to be a quick win. Uh, you know, we think it's over for the Germans for the Axis, and then it ends up being completely different because uh, you can see the Italians are winning in southern France, uh, pushing forward there. You saw we can't we can't push forward ourselves. We just don't have the ability to, unfortunately. And uh, I don't know. We'll just see what happens on the eastern front. But it does kind of thin up here. Uh, it's not as as long as this front was. So if the problem was a lack of divisions to cover the whole front, then that would have been uh, something that got dealt with. Uh, so it's going to take these guys, put them here, and then the one extra one, put them over here, and then uh, just take a couple more divisions, keep them keep them. Uh, training while they're not uh you know while they're they're not uh, pushing forward here uh, again if they did attack us we would have uh, some problems with entrenchment and stuff so maybe this is not the smartest thing to do but that 25 percent combat modifier is so helpful man um and i might have just put too many divisions over there i don't know i'm just not really worried about them attacking they just don't look like they're at all interested in attacking right now and i kind of just want to get these guys trained up here um, yeah, I just don't think I don't think they would be able to either because of the fortifications and uh, We just continue to get these built. I think we even have a level five now. Yeah, right here. We have a level five fort So yeah, I don't think they'll be able to push forward uh, I mean, maybe if they were to win in the east, but that's not gonna happen It's kind of a Crappy situation though because that does mean that Soviets if they keep on pushing forward here Then the Soviets are gonna dominate the peace treaty. Uh, they'll be able to completely control it uh, You notice we are stacked up on Navy experience as well uh, so, unfortunately, there's not really anything to do with it, because we don't have any, uh, uh, we don't have any dockyards to really build anything. So I'll put these guys over here now, and let's get something else. I almost want to just go and race down here to hurry up and get this so we can get that industrial bonus, uh, before 1941. Uh, however, what I'm going to do is I will go and go after this one so that we start ticking up the non-aligned, and then we'll do the, the other branch there. Uh, and we do have these two decisions now to attract West Indies, uh, or East Indies oil companies. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. I can find them here. Probably scrolled right by them. Yeah, they're down here at the bottom. Uh, so what this does is it adds production of two oil, one building slot, and one civilian factory. After taking this decision five times, so it does require political power. Okay, um, and then of course we have these ones as well, which we can't do because you got to be at peace. These are the construction speed uh, bonus. These are great bonuses. That's one reason why you want to take that early uh, to get the. Uh, these bonuses here. They're so great for just 25 political power. Yeah, that's that would have been so helpful 
Uh, but you gotta be at peace to do these, so it's irrelevant now. And we're not gonna enact these ones. Oh, well, it's not really a problem for us uh, at the moment. And frankly, I, I kind of want to fill out this tree, get it, get it wrapped up, uh, so we don't gotta worry about it any longer. And I think we also need to change out of partial mobilization. We need to change over to war economy. Uh, so we'll do that with the next little batch of 150 political power that we get. Uh, we do got these guys done. Let's go ahead and throw them. Again, I'm just putting them on one army for now. I know that we won't want that to, to be that way in the war. Uh, and you know, it might just set these guys to all train as well, just because, yeah, that adjustment that we made there did uh, affect them. And maybe I'll, I'll adjust it again. Maybe we should just go ahead and get them designed. Yeah, maybe that'd be for the best. Uh, let's go and move these guys over to... Singapore needs another defender. Uh, I guess we wouldn't, we already have somebody there. All right. Yeah, we're looking all right, guys. Uh, we could go ahead and defend uh, this area then. Uh, we got two ports here that could get defended. And then maybe we'll start double staffing some of these areas since obviously one division is not gonna be enough to uh, defend against a Japanese invasion there. So let's see if there's any other adjustments we need to make uh, to these guys since we are training them up, spending all this time to train them up. Now, with them, I don't think we're going to get any of these. You know what? I think that they're pretty much good for right now. Yeah, I think we're going to leave these guys as as is for a while. I eventually want to help them with supply, but yeah, we'll do that later. Uh, let's get the recon companies here, though. I want to speed them up. And let's go and deploy most of these. Seems they're kind of lacking. Uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll go and deploy them, too. And let me just take a look at how they're doing on manpower. We haven't looked at them in a little while. We've been deploying a lot of their troops. Uh, they could be kind of short on manpower, and they are not. They have 1.01 million manpower. I'm guessing they changed up their conscription laws, so that's uh, not a problem anymore. Uh, not a problem at all. Uh, we could probably even deploy more, but that does result in us needing to supply them with artillery, so I'm not going to do that. All right. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to train these guys up, get them uh, trained up to the minimum. And we also have these two guys that are done. Uh, so let's go ahead and send them over to this army here. And I'll probably just uh, rotate these guys later. This will be the last one that we do. Uh, and then we'll just kind of uh, get them all set up later. Because uh, I'm not not too worried about doing this. Uh, Japan's not at war with us. Uh, and we'll get a little notification when they're planning on going to war. Uh, so, yeah, it might be a while. So we won't mess with them anymore. What we'll do is just throw them into this army. Uh, and then we'll uh, set them up later. Just so we can make some time here, make some progress uh, for something to happen. Because, uh, yeah, really nothing, nothing much going on right now. Move these guys here. And we are now, with that adjustment, going to need to chain, uh, train up all of the divisions now, including our divisions. Uh, we'll have to get trained up. And we are done with a couple more, so let's go get them added here. And looking good. We'll need to put some more divisions down there eventually. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and, and start out by... Uh, or go ahead and take some of these divisions. And we're just gonna go like this, just cause it's easier. And we'll just have like, we'll shoot to have 10 training at a time. That's the way we'll do this. All right, I'm not even gonna pay attention to entrenchment or anything like that. Just kinda hope that it goes well. All right, and just go ahead and continue. We'll start with just these guys here and getting them trained up. Now we got infantry equipment too. And I think that's it for here. Could get the mechanized, which we're not going to use at the moment. So no real reason to get that. Uh, and eventually we might want to get some tanks. Um, and maybe we'll do that if we don't have anything else to get. Uh, but right now, let's get the improved artillery upgrade since that's a static bonus. And decisions. Oh, yes. I'd like to see how the Hungarians are affecting things. Let's just going to dip around the world and see how things are going since we're not doing anything. There has been an invasion here uh, in Naples. Uh, British invasion. That should actually help the French quite a bit here since the Italians are gonna have to pump divisions down here to try and stop that. Uh, it looks like all of Africa is now in allied hands. We don't have to worry about that theater any longer. Uh, Soviets are moving forward a lot slower now, uh, but they're still pushing forward that I see. Uh, and then of course we have the Hungarians now who are gonna come over here and, and help out. We'll have to see how that ends up going. Uh, but yeah, they do have Hungarian assistance now. Uh, the Romanians, who knows which route they will go. Uh, I assume the Bulgarians will join the Axis though. And if the Germans do something stupid, like the Claire War in Yugoslavia, that could be it, guys. Yeah, uh, that's all it would take, I think. Uh, they're in such a bad position. Just sucks we couldn't uh, push forward at all. I'm a little surprised by that. Thought we'd have a little bit uh, easier time with that uh, than we have. All right, so let's go and take some more divisions here. Get them training. 
And we are in a very vulnerable spot when we rotate these divisions out, so that'd be a great time for them to attack us. Uh, but again, we have these forts here now, so I'm just not too worried about it. I feel pretty good about it. Uh, I don't think I don't think they're in a position to launch an offensive. Uh, so we're just waiting. Uh, and you know what? We can go up speed five. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing sitting on speed four, man. Uh, and we got these guys done. Again, I'm just going to throw them into this army for now. And I should have stopped them from training. So that's a waste of equipment right there. But yeah, it's fine. All right. So let's go ahead and dip back on over here. And okay. Looks like uh, that will... Will that bring them in? No. Okay. Yeah, typically that brings these guys in, so they end up joining the Axis, and normally that happens when uh, the Germans are already at war with uh, uh, with the uh, Yugoslavians, but yeah, it happened a little bit different than, than typically does. Okay, uh, so yeah, let's just keep on training up troops, and in fact, most of these guys are done now, and the Philippines did cancel our Lend-Lease. Uh, let's take a look at our equipment situation, see if that's why they did it. Let's go and bring all of them back into here, and then it allow us to rotate out a uh, ton of divisions. Uh, how many do we have? Eight. Rotate out eight. Uh, this puts us in a really vulnerable position. We'll see how it goes. I think we'll even have... Yeah, I was going to say, we might even have some uh, provinces that weren't protected at all. Uh, again, except all in lease. And let's just take a look at the equipment situation. We're really, really short on motorized right now. Okay, um, that's because we added the field hospital, so we're going to need to step up uh, production on the motorized. Uh, using up a lot of equipment, too. Um, a little bit surprised by that. Uh, all the training, perhaps? Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, and then we have uh, the artillery shortage is getting better. Uh, but yeah, there's really not anything I can I can pull from right now, as far as what our factories are going towards. You know, we kind of got to get that artillery situation dealt with. All right, so we'll just have to leave everything as is get these forts built and then I think we're gonna move over to production of, of military factories if the Germans can't attack us and we want to launch an offensive then forts ain't gonna help us on that in that regard uh, we need to get uh, we've got to get some military factories to fix our shortage issues and looks like France no longer has the tungsten for us all right let's go and stop trading with them then and we'll just get it from the British I suppose all right Let's take a look see if any of these guys are done training. Most of them are. In fact, the quicker way to do this would be to take these guys out, put them back on the front, and uh, that actually got us above 30, but we do have these two guys still need to get training. Uh, so let's put them on over there, and that does mean we're going to want to start taking some of these divisions out and moving them over to here. All right. Uh, and we can go ahead and start training these guys now, too. We'll get them training up. And we got one more guy done here. Let's go ahead and move them over to that front. All right, so yeah, just training them up. Make sure we have that, uh, that nice modifier. And put these guys back over here. Got the improved computing machines. We'll go ahead and go with the encryption and decryption. I guess we'll do decryption first so we can make sure we, we can see what the Germans and Japanese are doing. Uh, we got the support weapons three. Uh, so we are done with the infantry equipment. And yeah, I wasn't expecting this episode to be so, like, lacking in uh, actual combat, man. A little bit surprised with it. Uh, so let's go with the... Uh, we'll go we'll anti-tanks. Since we do have to fight. We do have tanks to fight on the front. And yeah, we weren't even fighting tanks, so that wasn't the issue either. It wasn't a lack of piercing or anything like that. Yeah, or, you know, just not being able to... Uh, to deal with the heart, heart attack needed to, to defeat the tanks. I mean, it was it was all infantry that we were fighting. Uh, local po population opposes senseless flooding. <laughs> uh, so yeah, because we haven't been attacked, uh, they haven't they haven't attacked us. So therefore, they don't want this flooding done. All right, well, we're gonna have to do this because uh, yeah, obviously we want to keep the flooding going. I mean, we could always stop it for a little while but let's see what happens after the Danes are defeated because then they'll build a free that'll free up uh, a few divisions for the Germans though situation isn't going great for them just look like they they got stopped here they were moving right towards Copenhagen and uh, they got stopped and pushed back and now they got troops cut off I don't know things aren't going too well for them up there I think the British just landed troops and are helping uh, looks like the French are attempting to attack along this front and we'll see how that ends up going for them uh, we do have these two done let's throw them back on the blue army and then uh Let's see, we have these two guys could come over to here. And it looks like we've got everybody trained up. All right, lovely. Okay, uh, so and then these guys will just go over to here. 
All right, so now that everybody's trained up, maybe we'll go ahead and launch another offensive. Uh, we got that national focus completed. Uh, I, I would love to go ahead and keep on moving down for these great benefits here. Uh, these are fantastic, though it wouldn't help us on our attack because it's only attack on core territory. Uh, so yeah, that wouldn't help us at all. Uh, this one would help though. Uh, get us more war support or whatever. Oh, this is a new leader. Okay, that's right. Don't we have like, yeah, we got some uh, negative penalties there for our current leader. Uh, so that results in a new leader. Uh, so that is uh, certainly helpful. But yeah, I think we should focus on getting these ones. If I can finally get uh, this knocked out. Okay. How are we doing on getting these factories or excuse me, these forts done? Doing great, man. Already going to get these up uh, to level five, it looks like, uh, with the exception of that one, which we could always build that one up if we wanted to, but I think we're going to do military factories next, guys. It is about time. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some military factories done in these two locations. Uh, we need them. Uh, need them desperately. All right, so these guys are done, so I think we're completely done with training now. Yeah, we're done with training for, for our European army. And so now, uh, I guess we'll launch another offensive uh, I don't know I just don't think we can win the offensive uh, maybe we'll have to wait until we get the uh, the artillery situation fixed and yeah we're short on motorized as well uh, we got the improved artillery upgrade awesome uh, so let's go ahead and go after the improved anti-air next uh, and then uh, yeah they're just gonna keep on asking us to do this here uh, we might do it ourselves um, yeah I hate having to I mean you can always do it again I think anyways and it's not really providing bonuses along the front just yet, with the exception of that province right there. Uh, they're the only one that gets the bonus. And of course, uh, you know, they don't, think, yeah, they don't have a river bonus either. So for the most part, that doesn't really help. Um, let's do this one more time, guys, and then maybe we'll, uh, we'll look at it here in a few days, two weeks or whatever. Uh, how much would that cost? Would that be the same political power? Maybe I should have just did it. I really thought we were going to need this, uh, but yeah, again, they haven't haven't attacked us yet. It's 25 political power. I assume you can do it again. I sure hope you can. Uh, but yeah, maybe that yeah, might be for the best because they're not attacking us at all. We have the French assistance as well. Yeah, I guess there's no reason to keep taking these penalties. Whatever, we'll, we'll drain the water lines and just hope that uh, uh, I don't regret that. I just don't see how the Germans can win at this point, though. Though, you notice the Soviets have been stopped. Their offensive haven't been stopped here. And, uh, again, the Germans are making progress against the Danes. All right, yeah, interesting. Uh, this is definitely not the way I thought the campaign was going to end up going. Uh, so I think we're going to be done here. Yeah, we're done here, though. I mean, we could keep on going down it just because we don't have anything else to fucking research. Uh, we go and start working on the Navy, I suppose. I, I guess we will. I mean, we don't really have the dockyards uh, to justify it. But eventually we'll want to to get those. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and just have one uh, tech slot dedicated towards getting uh, techs for our ships. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, guys. Um, let's go ahead and start with the turreted secondary. It's the one that most you know all of our ships will be using for the most part. So yeah, we'll get that one first. We have all this navy experience stacked up as well. That's another thing to consider. So yeah, we'll. we'll uh, Start, you know, getting the Navy ready for when we want to build it up a little bit to try and fight the Japanese. Um, you know, we also have that national focus branch that, you know, gives us some dockyards and stuff, so that would be helpful. Prepare the naval expansion, get three naval dockyards there. Uh, and then that's it for dockyards, granted. But that will double our dockyards that we currently have. So, uh, and, and we can do this again if we need to. Uh, so if they start launching offensive, uh, then we'll we'll knack that. We'll have a lot more time too with the extra fortifications. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, about to get this knocked out, which I think that will unlock this here. Oh wait, no, we have to do one more and then I'll lock that. Uh, we're using our political power again for the uh, changing up our mobilization. And yeah, the French just throwing away their manpower here on stupid attacks. They can't possibly win. Uh, it does look like they've stopped the Italians over here. The Italians have not stopped the uh, invasion by the British. They are looking in a very, like they're in a very bad position right now. Uh, and I need to say that we don't want to be notified of that. So yeah, maybe the Italians will be defeated due to those uh, naval invasions. I don't know, this is uh, just going a lot different than I expected. Now, given the Japanese have not entered the war, so that's gonna change up the whole situation, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it just didn't go the way I expected, uh, honestly. All right, well, 
let's see here. Uh, what do we want to get next? I guess we can start working towards tanks with the idea that we're eventually uh, going to get those. Yeah, I suppose that's what we'll do. Uh, we could also get close air support. You know what? We'll get close air support first. And outdated equipment in production. Yes, that's right. We got those anti-tanks. We won't change that up. Uh, we'll go ahead and say it's here, even though we're not going to build them just yet. I don't want to build any planes until we've gotten this this situation of the shortages dealt with. Uh, what I am going to do is go ahead and pull from infantry uh, equipment uh, and go ahead and put towards uh, the motorized since that's what we're really lacking right now. And we're getting hit by the penalty from lack of rubber. I suppose we could go ahead since we got all the forts built up. Uh, so we could go ahead and trade with, well, you know, let's not trade with the Dutch East Indies because we eventually want to annex them. Uh, so let's instead trade, we'll trade with France, help them out. And also... I guess that just makes up for the fact that we're trading for less steel now. The assassination of Leon Trotsky, so he was assassinated. And we can now change up our mobilization. Let's go to War Economy. That's going to give us more factories. Uh, and yeah, we've already got that constructed. Now we're repairing this. We don't need, need to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Could do another dockyard. Uh, but you know what? Let's, let's fix the, the military situation first. Uh, so let's get military factories. And that did get us, we have three more military factories, okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these assigned then. Uh, we want to put into artillery, which is still quite short, and the motorized. And that does result in us being short on steel again. Here you go, France. And are these guys still training up? They are. Uh, in fact, we could probably go ahead and deploy these now. Uh, looks like they have... Yeah, pretty much all the equipment that they need. Uh, it seems that they're doing much better at providing them with artillery, because I don't think this is our artillery. Yeah, uh, what we do want to do is put that as low equipment priority, though. Switch these up. So yeah, let's go and deploy all these. And uh, go and get the rest of these. Again, just thrown into this army right here. And we'll split up into two armies uh, once we find ourselves at war with the Japanese. Uh, it's just easier to not have to do it. They're getting the zero right now, so we'll see what they do next. Okay, signing the Tripartite Act. Uh, so that does result in them the, then being able to do the Strike South uh, doctrine. So I think war with the Japanese is going to be starting soon, which is going to kind of change the situation up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll be enough to save the Germans though. All right, so we got the Western possessions, and let's go and get this one here. Let's take a look at where we're at on the non-aligned. We're sitting at seven percent at the moment, uh, so that is all going to tick down our, our stability and stuff. Uh, since the ruling party popularity is, uh, you know, declining at the moment. We have 321,000 manpowers. So we could go and build some units up uh, of our own. Uh, and I think what we'll do is we'll wait until we fix the equipment situation, and then we'll, we'll build units. Uh, we got improved anti-air. All right. Um, so that's it for the 1940 tax here. Um, so let's get the tanks then. Just kind of a plan to eventually get some, some tank units. Uh, and because I don't have anything else to research other than, I guess, naval tax, we could do two slots going towards naval tax, I suppose. Uh, we already got the best submarines, uh, not that we're, we're building them right now. Could get the better destroyers, that would actually be pretty useful to get, in fact. But we still need equipment for them. So let's go and start out with getting stuff for our light cruisers, since I think we finished that light cruiser up in 1940. Uh, so let's get the medium battery for right now. Uh, and tow to anti-air upgraded all right uh, so I'm gonna try another offensive guys just to say that I, I tried <laughs> so that we're not just sitting here this whole time but I don't think it's gonna be effective uh, yeah they actually have more troops on here than they did you know what let's not do it we, we want to win it more than likely nah they now have six divisions per province we should probably be set up for uh, defense at this moment and in fact you know we have so many troops here let's go ahead and send more over to here um, yeah I think we probably should we might need them here and uh, Maybe we'll stretch their front out eventually since we have eight here and you know yeah i think we will stretch that front out in fact uh let's wait until they get here uh, but let's send them more uh we're sitting at 11 let's get them up to 15 i suppose uh that's apparently i counted wrong <laughs> there we go we'll get up to 15 divisions there uh we do have civilian factories done let's go ahead and build another military factory Okay, got the decryption, and let's get encryption. Yeah, so this uh, episode did not go the way I expected it to, not at all. Uh, and and I, I guess it's fine. Um, I just thought there'd be a little bit more action at this point. 
uh, just going a lot differently than the last campaign went. And uh, the British are doing lots of stupid invasions that are going to be costly for them. Uh, they should just focus on this, man, uh, where they're, they're winning there. Uh, let's take a look at the Japanese. Yeah, they're still working on that. Uh, see what the Germans are working on. Uh, they're befriending Japan, so they're both trying to befriend each other right now. Uh, oh, the Soviets went with the anti-capitalist diplomacy. Okay. You never know. We could end up with the Cold War situation. Uh, early Cold War situation. Maybe even a hot war with the, the Comintern uh, and the Allies. We'll have to see how that ends up going. Uh, but yeah, it just ended up uh, going a lot different than I was expecting. Everybody is canceling and lease. I'm guessing we're doing much better on equipment. I think they're giving us support equipment, which we're, we're doing decent on. I'm going to go ahead and stack that up a little bit since we are going to make more adjustments in that regard. Uh, stack it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're starting to get the, the problems dealt with here, which will then allow us to uh, build some of our own units uh, using that little bit of manpower that we have. Uh, but yeah, it just went overall. This episode did not go the way I expected. Uh, it's just been uh, yeah, very, uh, uh, very passive for us. Uh, again, I don't think we could win on the offensive. Uh, we've got the defense locked down, but on the offensive, we just can't get a win. I can try again... Um, I mean, like here. I mean, but you can only put so many, you know, so many divisions on the on the front that can fight at once. Uh, so, if their divisions are superior to ours, let's just take a look at them. Yeah, they actually have uh, very large uh, divisions. I think um, so. That's one reason why we're losing here. So these numbers aren't exactly accurate because they're using larger division templates. And you know what? I'm I'm thinking rather than you know what this is what we're gonna do. Um, rather than go ahead and build a bunch more of our divisions, uh, for covering the front, we're just going to use the Dutch East Indies, and then our divisions are going to be, you know, we already have the elite here, our divisions are going to be the superior divisions. We're going to build them up to 40 combat with, and that's where our manpower and equipment and uh, all that good stuff is going to go. Uh, so we'll, this will probably double the size of these. Uh, and so in that case, well, yeah, that'll end up probably eating up most of this manpower that we have. Uh, yeah, I would assume that would eat up most of the manpower we got. So that's what I think we're gonna do. Maybe we'll be able to get up to 10 divisions, but yeah, our divisions are just gonna be the large ones. Uh, we'll get these up to 40 width, guys. Uh, I think that's the uh, best way to do this uh, so that we can, each of our divisions can compare to theirs. Uh, and you get a bunch of under the hood bonuses for having larger divisions. Uh, so larger divisions are superior to the smaller divisions. Uh, so we would want to get some 40 combat with ones uh, for those, those bonuses and, and to hopefully to be able to defeat the Germans. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do that next episode, uh, or we'll wait until we get the equipment situation uh, fixed, and then we'll do that. Uh, it's really just going to be artillery that'll be affected for the most part. Just keep on building up the stockpiles and just kind of getting ready for the war against the Japanese, which should be starting soon, and that should be exciting at the very least since we've had... Uh, it's been relatively boring here. We did make good time, though. I think we made about a year or so, uh, almost a year. Uh, so that's not bad considering the war is going. Uh, so yeah, despite the passiveness of it all, I uh, hope you did enjoy it. I think this is about to change up soon, guys. I think the Germans, you can already see the Germans are pushing them back. Yep, the Germans are pushing them back. Uh, they're almost done in Denmark. They just got to get Copenhagen, uh, which they're about to have. Or, well, it's green right now for us, but I think they'll eventually get it. You see they're really stacking up here on this front. I think this is about to, the momentum's about to change, unless Italy gets knocked out. Uh, but I think the momentum is going to change. I think you're going to see the, the Germans launching offensive here. Uh, and I think this is going to get a lot different uh, next episode. Uh, so, yeah, despite the passiveness, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe to our channel. I'm over here punching the desk and shit. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. I do read and reply to all comments. Love talking to you guys. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.